children how are you all hope you all are fine and safe are you all ready to listen today's class hope you all are ready before that let's see a small test of last class okay now see here i have given some questions for you you have to say true or false okay read these questions carefully and say this true or false okay children hope you all will do this now let's see a small recap of last class do you all remember children what we saw in the last class yes we had a lesson that is the kids club right so what we see in this in kids club right there so there was a apartment named bharat apartment in that apartment the three children that is mohan tina and anwar they were lived in the bharat apartment right it had 12 floors more than 100 people lived in the building and also after the school the children liked to play on the stairs right but and the three children tina did not like the staircase but mohan said that's the best place to play and they used to play like the children took the lift to the 12th floor once and then once out of the lift they whispered and they started to rang the bells of the flats right like this so when tina was afraid mohan said just rang the bell then anwar is ready to escape right so then after they rang the bell they ran away in the staircase but the people they hear the noise of people that is someone saying what's going on here and someone saying like who rang the bell and someone saying like that wait till i catch you so after hearing these words and were repeated that wait till i catch you so they laughed a lot and they said that this is the best game i have ever played so then mohan said come on let's do it again so the children do this for one week and they did not catch then they and they did not catch then what happened yes then one day they rang the bell of eighth floor suddenly the door opened and man stood in front of them what do you think this is he asked him quietly and then they were so scared by seeing the man they looked at him in shock and also then when they started to when they started to run mohan slipped and it hit and hit his leg against the railing right so then he started to cry in pain like oh my leg oh my leg it was so paining right so then they the three, the three children caught by the man and the man uh, and the man's name was john right so he said this uh, nothing is uh, uh, nothing serious this is a small cut and come with me so after that the three, the three children followed the man and he took the children to his flat and he bandaged anwar's leg after that tina said that we are sorry for that and the man said that finally you all realize that you are doing some mischief after that tina started to saying that there's no place to play for us so mr john is saying that he has an idea that is he was living uh, he, uh, he was living alone and he ha- and he is saying that he has extra room so he is saying that you can form a kids club in it then all of you can meet here and play games of color 
when you want to play in sun you can go to the terrace i will come and watch you all then so there is no mistake so saying like that the man is saying to form a kids club in his flat because he is having an extra room so the children sort agree with that so this is the kids club right so this is what we saw in the last class now let's warm up okay so today we are going to see about a poem okay so see here you are seeing what so you are seeing here rats right do you know children are you afraid of rat yes of course see here i am going to say some facts about rats that is rat can swim rats or river in some culture also their tails keep them cool okay and then the rats teeth never stop growing okay then there are many different types of rats that we know that uh, we have uh, we know that we have brown rats and black rats also we can see white color rats right so also rat can laugh so why i'm saying about the facts of rat is today we are going to see the poem about rat okay so the poem name is the city mouse and the garden mouse okay shall we start okay see here the city mouse and the garden mouse now see the first stanza is the city mouse lives in a house the garden mouse lives in a bower he's friendly with the frogs and toads and sees the pretty plants in flower so here children in this stanza see the first line the city mouse lives in a house so the city mouse means which mouse is we can see in the house right so these that mouses are called city mouse and the garden mouse lives in the bower so you do you know children what is the meaning of bower so here the meaning of bower is a place under the shade of trees okay a place under the shade of trees means bower okay so the garden mouse lives in a bower so uh, which are, which are, which are the mouse sleeps in the uh, and it lives in the shade under the trees that mouse are called the garden mouse okay so the next line is he is friendly with the frogs and toads so here he is refers to the garden mouse so the garden mouse is friendly with frogs and toads because he is living in outside right right he is not living in house so he is friendly with the frogs and toads and sees the pretty plants in flower yes he is seeing the pretty plants and flowers so in flowers means here plants when they have flowers so because he is living in garden so he he can able to see the frogs the toads the plants the flowers right so he can see he, uh, he can enjoy the love of nature right so what is here what the uh, we we have saw the the nature of garden mouse right are you all clear okay now let's see the next one is the city mouse eats bread and cheese the garden mouse eats what he can we will not grudge him seeds and stalks poor little timid furry man okay now we are see the city mouse eats bread and cheese of course because city mouse means where city mouse lives in houses right so they can't eat, they 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 are not able to eat what they want so they they eat the bread and cheese but see here the garden mouse eats what he can whatever he sa he eat right whatever he wants means he used to eat so we will not grudge him seeds and stalks 
so not grudge means here not feel angry or sad that someone has something that someone has something so stalks means the thin stems of a plant from which leaves grow okay so we will not grudge means that is not feel uh, not feel angry or sad that someone had something so we will not feel angry or sad for what to say we will not feel bad for that for something had some uh, someone had something more than as okay so poor little timid furry man so timid means shy here so this is this is the end of this poem now let's see the new words of this poem visadar bower right bower means a place under the shade of trees and next one is in flower so in flower here the meaning is plants when they have flowers okay now the next one is not grudge so not grudge means here not feel angry or sad that someone has something okay then stalks means the thin stems of a plant from which leaves grow okay children and now the last one is timid so timid means shy okay now now let's see the recap of today's class today we saw about the poem the poem name is the city mouse and the garden mouse right so in this poem they have uh, they have told that the difference about the city mouse and the garden mouse that is the city mouse lives in house and the city mouse eats bread and cheese but see the garden mouse lives in bower and he is friendly with frogs and toads also he is seeing the pretty plants in flower also the garden mouse has no limit that he can eat um, he eats what he can right so this is the recap of today's class now let's see the assessment of today's class so see here fill in the blanks with correct words i have given some questions with answers also so in the bracket you have two answers so you have to choose the correct answers for the respective sentence okay hope you all will do this correctly now let's see the homework of today's class see here i have given some questions for you read it carefully and answer these question correctly okay for reference you can refer your term 1 textbook page number 29 and 30 okay so this is the end of today's class children hope you all well and hope you all are enjoy today's class do the homework correctly see you in the next class thank you